Hello everyone and welcome back. If you happen to be new, my name is Robin and today I'm going to be taking you into my living room and we're going to work on decorating my hutch together. I want to gather up all of my ironstone pieces that I have in my collection and I'm hoping that I have enough to fill my hutch. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. I always see all these gorgeous pictures on like Instagram and Pinterest of these cabinets filled with ironstone and I just love it. I go crazy about it. So I have been wondering lately if I have enough in my collection to actually fill up my hutch. So that is what we're going to do and we're going to use that as the bones for my fall decor this year. I think this would be so much fun and my hope is that once fall is over I can transition it into my Christmas decor as well without really changing too much of the original ironstone structure, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm very excited to see if this is going to work. I'm going to take you along with me and I am very excited to get started. But before we do, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And of course, I would love it if you could hit that thumbs up and follow me over on Instagram as well. So I've already gone ahead and gathered up all of the ironstone that I think I have in my collection um, from all over the house where I've had it, you know, used or stored. And so I think what I'm going to do is just start gathering pieces at one at a time and kind of trying to make sense of some sort of rhythm and make it look beautiful. So that is the plan. Let's go see if we can make it happen. The first thing I did was go ahead and clear off my hutch, which looks really sad without anything on it. And then I took my largest pieces of ironstone, which are my coffee pots and teapots, and placed one of those on each of the shelves to kind of spread it out throughout the hutch area. From there, I decided I was going to work from the top down towards the bottom of the hutch. And here I'm going to try to remember to show you up close each of the pieces that I'm going to be using. So starting on the top right section, I decided to add three lidded containers that I have in various sizes. I thought that looked nice. So then I moved on to the opposite top shelf. And here I started with another container and then a sugar bowl. And then I thought I would add a gravy boat and saucer to the opposite side of the shelf. And I thought that did a good job of filling in that space. So then I moved on down to the next open spot. And here I'm going to use some plates. I'm going to stack those in the back and I decided to follow it all the way across the hutch. So I added four plates in total. I picked out two pitchers and placed one on each side of the teapot to finish off one of the shelves. And then on the other one I replaced the coffee pot which I took down to put up the plates picked out two more pictures and repeated the process of one on each side as well for on this shelf. Moving down to the next open space, I took this stack of plates that I have that have a beautiful scalloped edge and I stacked them on one side of the shelf and on top of that I'm going to layer the matching little um, berry bowls I wish you would call them. I also had this stack of salad bowls which I added to the opposite side. And then finally, I wanted to add this stack of cute little butter pats to the front area. For the next open spot, I thought I would add some of my serving dishes. I have three oval shaped bowls and I thought I could probably stack them on top of each other, which is what I tried to do and it seemed to work out just wonderfully. I had one more stack of berry bowls, so I thought I would add that into the mix as well. So I decided to stack those on the opposite side of the teapot, even though I wasn't quite sure which where to put them. But they ended up on the outside. And then on top of that, I layered a little creamer that actually matches the teapot, which I thought was cool. At this point, I thought I had a pretty good base, so then I wanted to go back over what I'd already done and add some more layering. So first off, I added two plates under one of the containers on the top shelf. And then on the opposite side, I added a stack of four plates and then I corralled on top of that the two items that I had already placed up there and I thought that added a nice look to the area. Underneath one of the other teapots, I added a oval dish. And then I also added another stack of plates underneath another of the teapots. 
On this shelf, I felt like there was a lot of open, empty space in the back, so I took a platter and tucked it back behind everything, and I thought that did a nice job of filling in that empty looking space. I also added a sugar bowl to the stack of serving dishes. And then on the final shelf, I added a total of four coffee cups into the mix as well. I picked out a creamer to add to the shelf as well and placed that in front of the teapot. And then I decided to add to the stack of butter pats that I had. So I added another stack beneath the original stack. They seemed a little tall. So I removed those and added a different type. And those weren't quite as tall, so that worked for me. At this point, I had two more sections of the hutch to decorate. So I started with a stack of oval dishes and then placed a few other dishes in front of it. I really didn't know what I was doing with this. I was just trying to use up the rest of the ironstone pieces that I had, but it wasn't enough to really make any display with. So I decided to cheat a little bit and add some of my gravy boat collection into the mix. I have one true ironstone gravy boat, which is the first one I placed. The rest of them are just random white gravy boats that I found at the thrift store in various shapes and sizes, which I thought were cool. So I just kind of kept adding gravy boats here and there, and somehow or another it started to form a display, which I thought was pretty cool. I had two more very small ironstone dishes, which I placed underneath two of the gravy boats just to kind of make it look like they had saucers that matched them and it looks like one of them still has a tag on it which I didn't realize while I was filming <laughs> so that's cool so then I decided it, this side needed a little bit of height so I added a cake plate to that mix at this point I was pretty happy with the overall look but I wanted to add a little bit of my tarnished silver because I love to add that pretty much everywhere in my decorating for fall because I think it just fits so well in the fall time. So I added some silverware here and there and then tucked in a few of the salt and pepper shakers that have silver lids from my collection. At this point I was very much enjoying the look of the hutch but I still wanted to add some fall accents. Unfortunately I ran out of time on this particular day so it had to sit for a couple of days. When I did get back to working on the hutch, the first thing I did was added a few pumpkins to these serving bowls and then switched out the creamer for a different bowl which I thought fit a little nicer. And then I wanted to add some more pops of silver, so I placed a tray behind the platter and I thought that looked nice poking out behind the platter. And then I also added a few leaves into the bowl as well to add a little pop of color for the fall season. I also tucked in a few more on the opposite side of the shelf. Then I went around and added just a few random leaves tucked in here and there wherever I thought it looked nice. On the top shelf I decided to add a small oval silver tray and I thought that looked very nice. I added another silver tray behind the cake stand and gravy boats and then to the bowl with the pumpkin I added a few little leaves tucking out the top of the bowl. I felt that this shelf had a lot of open space in the back so I decided to add a silver tray to that shelf as well and I think that really finishes off the shelf nicely. And of course a single little leaf for good measure. And finally, for the inside of the hutch, I switched out one of the gravy boats for a silver one. At the last minute, it seemed to me like the top of the hutch needed a little something, so I decided to add my new collection of glass oil lamps, and I think they look awesome up here. To add just a touch of fall, I added a few leaves and two tiny pumpkins. And with that, my hutch was complete and I absolutely love how it turned out. All the ironstone grouped together like this just makes my heart sing and of course I love the pops of silver and the color from the leaves. I think it is just so pretty.
enjoyed today's video. I am absolutely loving how the fall hutch turned out with all that iron stone in it and the bits of silver. Oh, I just love it so, so much. So I hope you do as well. I'd love to know down in the comments what you think. I am pretty sure that I'm going to be liking the look of this for quite a long time. I think this will last me all the way through like November, um, which is awesome. So I don't have to worry about that space at all. Um, and then I think it's going to work perfectly to transition into my Christmas decor as well. So I think that is going to be so amazing and a time saver for me. So I'm very excited about that. I have also decorated my master bedroom. If you missed that video, I will link it here on the end card. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you again very soon. Bye now.